in just a minute, but first an emergency operations center is now closed after being activated earlier today. The Knoxville Fire Department says a shortage of ambulances and overcrowding at hospitals is to blame. John Pierce is joining us live. He's at UT Medical Center here. John, this is a big deal. It's the first time something like this has happened when it didn't have something to do with some emergency weather situation. Yeah, Ted, here at UT Medical Center right now, ambulances can drop off patients like they normally would. However, that was not the case earlier today as Knox County saw an ambulance shortage. They ran out of ambulances because of a high call volume. So it's been an extremely busy day in Knox County today. Knoxville Fire Department spokesman Mark Wilbank says the county battled an ambulance shortage on Tuesday causing the county to partially open the emergency operating center. The uh, call volume has been way higher than it normally is on any given day. Wilbank says all of the county's 14 ambulances were out on calls at one point, and the county had to request help from neighboring counties. He says the EOC basically had to figure out which calls were the most urgent. We're assessing those situations to determine who gets the ambulances first. Wilbank says some people had to wait longer than usual for an ambulance to arrive, saying some people had to wait about an hour. That doesn't mean they weren't staffed or, or, or in service. Many times they were available. They were just um, either at local hospitals waiting to drop off the, the, the previous patient uh, or they were assigned to another call. Regional Director for AMR, Joshua Spencer, called today's situation a perfect storm. Will Banks says the EOC closed around 7.30 Tuesday night because the call volume dropped off. He says higher call volumes with fewer ambulances is something communities all over the country are dealing with. He says it's just something they have to monitor moving forward. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs released a statement tonight saying his office will start conversations with AMR on how this can be avoided in the future.